I didn't, ex- I didn't expect this to be so long, but it, it's just a lot to talk about. It, it's really just a lot to talk about. Now, when it comes, like I said before, I meant to, I forgot to add this point. When I was talking about uh, my favorite episode, or my most referenced episode on the grapevine on YouTube, is the all-women's panel. And I think I did a video re- reaction to it. I believe I did. I did. I did do a video response to it. And you know, they, these women were talking about you know their new age parenting style of how their their, their chores aren't gender specific. <laughs> and you know, they were talking about how the girls are taking out the trash. The girls are washing the dishes. You know, they're doing. You know that. And I was kind of thinking to myself, was like, okay, if the girls are doing, if the girls are doing that, what are the boys doing? And it'll be nothing. You ask these boys, you ask the mothers what they're doing, they'll say nothing. It's not, <laughs> and I, I don't even know why they bother. And while they're talking about how you know they're raising their kids to be gender fluid or whatever the fuck it is nowadays. Um, they're, um, you know, they're talking about how they're raising their kids. It's really how they're raising their daughters to be, you know, to have mas- to, be, to be masculine and feminine to a degree. And I was kind of debating a woman about it, about masculinity. She was talking about all people have, um, all, you know, everybody has a, a balance of masculine and femininity. And I, I was kind of like saying, like, okay, we can talk about estrogen versus testogen. Es- estrogen versus testosterone but when it comes to putting in the work or using the the um, the, uh, the 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 testosterone or the masculine energy you know women aren't using that to you know fix roads or fix their car or you know do anything that requires hard labor or you know a whole day to fix. They're not doing that. They just call somebody or they just give up on it completely. So, you know, it's, it's, it's not like, you know, women are using it, you know. But anyways, um, I like I, I like referencing that all women's panel because at the end of it, they, they, they complain about how niggas weren't doing the shit that they need to be doing. They, they you know, after, you know, you got this one single mom, this light-skinned chick, talking about, um, that dude drove by twice. Yeah. And, you know, anyways, um, he wants, why is he driving around there? And, you know, anyways, uh, <laughs> Why is he driving? Uh, these cops here are weird. I swear they just. Yeah. Drove around three times. But, anyways, um. I don't really like walking outside around here too much. Dudes be bugging out. Last, last month they almost ran me off the road. But maybe it's because I'm at the school and I'm like, I don't know. But anyways, school's not even open, it's closed. But anyways, I like referencing the all women's panel because at the end of it, you know, all that gender equality or that they were trying to teach to their, to their kids or their, to their daughters got completely thrown out the window when, uh, when black men weren't doing the things that were gender specific to them. They were complaining like... I think it was the same girl. I don't know if it was the same girl or the, it was a dark-skinned girl. But what, what somebody brought out, they were mad about how their cousin can't change a tire, can't do manly work, and niggas don't want to, you know, they don't want to take responsibility. And I'm like, whoa, whoa, whoa. You the one that wanted to do everything. You raising your daughters to, you know, to do everything. And, you know, that's... It. You you got y'all still have that superwoman complex, and you're mad, and you're wondering why you know black men ain't motivated to do anything, you know, 
They're like, why, fi- why, why even learn how to fix a car? I'm going to be a rapper. I'm going to buy six cars and shit. You know. <laughs> you know, I, I was like, man, I'm like, how the hell you mad? You mad because at niggas who don't even want to take responsibility or learn manly shit? Where the hell are they going to learn it from? You know, if their fathers aren't in their lives, or you just you just chose a guy with an ain't shit dude. You you think Jam, you think your little son Jamal is gonna learn how to um to uh, multiply three digit numbers when when your boyfriend didn't even complete school and he's a dropout, reading level of fourth grade. It's it's fucking embarrassing when you see these statistics on reading level. Of black boys, and I remember when I was in, in high school, man, the reading level was was bad for us. You know, people getting tested for um, for literacy, and you know, niggas looking dumb as fuck, can't even pronounce words with uh, six or more letters. Yeah, I ain't saying that's women's fault, but I'm I'm just saying, man. Despite all the claims of independence. Y'all know what you're doing, most educated, you know, and you know, these boys are at your time or in your space majority of the time, and they're not learning nothing. And, you know, to Sophia Nelson, fuck you. You know, you're not doing anybody a favor by getting with broke dudes, you know, and I'm, I'm, because I don't even really like it that you brought it up, but because of your platform and who you cater to, it's this Kristen Kerrigan and her. Her family, I mean her, her, uh, her followers, because they'll take this shit and then they'll spin it and be like, and that's why I'm not gonna be with a black man because they're abusing women, and they're on, they're on YouTube 24/7 bashing black women. Yeah, you know. I'll admit I, I, you know, at least for, I can admit at least for myself that you know. That you know, some of us, you know, you know, there's some YouTubers out there who have a little bit too much time, and are a little bit too occupied with, you know, what women are on. You know, you know, at times I say fuck that, but anyways, um, at least for me, I'm just here to be the voice of reason and to be that millennial or you know that young voice out there because there's a lot of old heads talking. But I'm I'm just kind of here to you know set the record straight or just put my two cents in. Because um, I, you know I had to. And you know what you know uh, Sophia Nelson wasn't wasn't completely wrong. And I'll you know I'll admit you know I had a um, you know my mom she you know she took care of my um, my older half brother you know he, he even still to this day you know you know he's almost forty still living with mom. And, but, you know, he's slow, he's, you know, he's not, um, you know, you know, he's not as capable as everybody else, but he's not that slow, but, you know, I can't, I can't vouch for him, but it's like damn nearly too late, you know, how easy, how is he going to compete in a world where, you know, you know, people are already having skill sets at the age of 14 ready to work. You know, it's it's freaking hard. You know, it's freaking hard. You know, you're competing with robots. You're competing with immigrants. You know, you're competing. You're competing with uh, people with college degrees. And you know, it, it's kind of hard for him to just kind of make it. You know, put his two cents in when he doesn't. You know, have a, a college degree, or you know, he's not that involved in the community, or you know, he doesn't have connections like that. You know, I would say the blame kind of goes both ways to where it's like, you know, you should have saw this coming and, you know, you know, I, the blame would be on my mom, you know, too, for, you know, hey, you coddled him, you gave him an easy route, you know, you you allowed this, you know, you, you didn't give him responsibilities, you didn't give him, um, you didn't give him deadlines, you didn't give him tasks, you know, I, I remember like, being in in the freaking household, you know, I, when I used to live with, when I was a kid, 
and you know it was annoying that I was the head of the household. You know, and I was I'm I'm the middle child. Like, why isn't he the head of the house? He's the older child. He's here. From you know, why can't he be responsible even when he's even when he was working or not? Like, answering the phone that should be him. You know. You know, warming up the food. That's you know he did it sometimes, but that should be him. You know, giving tasks and assignments like clean the bathroom tub or clean the mirror. Some of it should be on him. You know, at best he just you know my mom would have to remind him to clean his own messes. Like, hey, you left a whole bunch of hair on the sink after you were shaving. You know, clean it up. And he would probably muddle under his breath or just get to it or whatever. I, you know, and I, 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 I'll admit, you know, you, you got, you know, she caught with him too much, and you know, this is the result of, you know, you can't function in the world, and you know, that's a, that's a sad thing that you know, that he has to deal with, you know, because you know, he, he, he can't really do. It's it's almost too late for him to make moves or to do anything, you know, especially on short on short notice. Ain't much for him to do. But, uh, you know, you know, yeah, women, women do coddle their, their sons too much, but, you know, y'all don't have to date them. Y- y- I mean, y'all don't have to date the products of these men. And, you know, if these men want sex or if, if these men are trying to, gu- to, to guilt trip you into being in a relationship with them, don't fall for it. Don't fall for the, the gimmicks of, oh, you know, I'm a brother. You know how it is, yo. You know how it is, man. You know, the, the man is in the, in the fucking system, man. They, they keeping me down, yo. You ain't got to fall for all that dumb shit. You know, you ain't, you ain't got to fall for that. Yeah, you, you ain't, you ain't got to, uh, you know, fall for all that nonsense and you know the gimmicks and the uh the, the tricks you, you ain't gonna fall for that you know you, you yeah you you know you don't you don't have to fall for that you don't need to you strip to these pickup lines been there for decades and like it, it still mind boggles me that you know women so fall for it or you know or or that, you know, women are still being pregnant by, you know, dudes who have, like, four baby mamas and doesn't take care of any of his kids. You know, to a degree, it's like, you know, black women pride themselves at a failure. And even though I thought it was a curse, it was really a blessing for me because, you know, unlike the unlike the uh, stuff that Sophia Nelson was talking about a couple weeks ago, where she was talking about, um, you know, black women are innately supporting black men. I didn't get that support. And I used to be very jealous and envious of that. Like, man, why aren't black women there for me, man? Why aren't they showing up for my causes? Why aren't they doing this for me? You know, how come I'm being treated so differently? I always wondered that for years, for like 10 years, you know, ever since I was a teenager. I worried about that. I was like, man, why am I so different? Why do I get different treatment? I'm, I'm harsh. They're harsher towards me. They're not showing up. They ain't fighting for me. And I thought that, I thought it was a, I thought it was a curse, but then again, I realized it was a blessing because. You know, it was a blessing because, you know, I, I could I had enough time to focus on me. And that's what I'm doing. I have to focus on whatever I want to do in life. My career, my goals, my family. I had to worry about that. You know, I live in a, in, in a, a multiracial community. And it's not like I pride myself on living among non-black people. But the thing is, I've been living all right. I ain't worried about finding black women to like me in the area. I ain't worried about dating and all that nonsense. 
you know, I, I had to realize that, hey, man, you know, you, you, need, you need time to chill. You need, these women are doing you a favor by, by not getting you caught up in their bullshit, their drama, you know, and I, I, I'm mad at myself because I didn't even fully appreciate it. it. I didn't appreciate their, their, them not supporting me, and I should have used it as motivation. I would have been ten times happier, if I, you know, if I if I if I did that when I was in high school and in college. You know, and I'll admit, sometimes I I, I wish I was on, in a time machine. I can go back and be like, man, hey, do not like Sequoia, man. She is, you know, she don't she don't like you like that. Hey, man, chill out. Dominique does not like you like that, man. Dude, chill out. Chill out. You know, chill out. They, they, you don't need to worry about them. Don't, don't call them. Don't tell them anything. You ain't got to worry about them. And, you know, their support, their, their non-supportiveness, you know, even through my mistakes, it did help me out. And I, I, I just had to realize that, you know, that, you know, that I, I should have, I should have appreciated, you know, being an, a, a non-archetype black dude. You know, I'm not the, I'm, because they can't throw bullshit statistics at me. They can't throw in, oh, well, um, you know, black men are deadbeat fathers. I ain't got no kids. Black men are in jail. I never been in trouble with the law. I'm yet to get a a, 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 a a traffic violation. Oh, black men are abusive. You know, I I've never really dated anybody seriously. You know, so you, they they can't throw it. You know, I'm I'm damn near like indestructible. So you know, to all the you know. No, I, I was about to go petty. I, I was about to go real petty on them, but you know what? The stress, constantly worrying about black women and what they're on and what they're doing. I don't need it. I don't need it. 